Today's lecture is about the medulla oblongata. We will discuss here the ventral view of the medulla oblongata. Brain stem is basically composed of three main parts. Let's draw here. First one is midbrain, then pons, and then medulla oblongata, and then we have the spinal cord. This is mid brain, right? This is pons, and then we have the medulla oblongata, like it just simply write her as um, medulla oblongata and then we have the spinal cord so in this lecture i'm going to discuss about the medulla oblongata and the ventral view of the medulla oblongata in the coming lectures i will discuss the posterior view the dorsal spike and the cross sectional view all right, so different levels of medulla oblongata will be discussed in the coming lectures. Starting with the ventral view, first one is, this is pons, right? This is pons. Below that, we have the medulla oblongata, the interior aspect. If we see from the ventral, first thing we get is, is the fissure this one right here and we call them as interior median fissure this is interior median fissure right so in the middle we have the interior major fissure and lateral to interior median fissure on both sides we get some swelling type of surface and we call that as the pyramid right pyramid right so it's basically a swelling on the other side of the interior median fissure and lateral to pyramid we have another swelling we can call that as the olive so first starts with the interior median fissure and then we have the pyramid on the other side and after that we have the olives lateral to the pyramid next we have the sulcus which divides right so this sulcus which divides the pyramid from the olive is known as the anterior lateral sulcus anterior lateral sulcus can speak Sulcus. Right. And more lateral to interior lateral circles, we have another circles which is known as the posterior lateral circles. You can draw it here. Right. So more lateral to interior, we have the posterior lateral circles. Posterior lateral sulcus and another landmark we can see on both the sides is this portion we call at is the inferior cerebellar pitanker, like which connects the medulla to the cerebellum, right, and it's laterally towards the olive like this is pyramid this is olive and laterally to the olive we have the inferior cerebral peduncle which connects the medulla to the oblongata 
metal oblong cater to the cerebellum right so this is the inferior cerebellar peduncle right next we have the nerves cranial nerves which arise from the ventral aspect of the medulla oblongata. So basically there are four nerve, cranial nerves which arise from the medulla oblongata. It's 9, 10, 11 and 12 which are the glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory and the hypoglossal nerve. So from the anterior lateral circus, one cranial nerve originates which we call it as the 12th cranial nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve which is the 12th cranial nerve right so i can write as the hypoglossal nerve right The only nerve which arises from the anterior lateral circus, right? And the remaining three nerves, cranial nerves, arises from the posterior lateral circus. So the first one which arises from the posterior lateral circus is the ninth cranial nerve, which is the crassopharyngeal nerve. Right, so I can write as so for India no. right and other two nerves which arises from the posterior lateral sulcus is these two and this one is the 10 cranial nerve which is the vagus nerve vagus nerve a 10th cranial nerve and last one which arises from the posterior lateral sulcus is we get the 11th cranial nerve which is the accessory nerve right so there are four nerves basically which you can get from the medulla oblongata is the 9, 10, 11, 12, glossopharyngeal, vagus accessory and the hypoglossal nerve. And the um, 12K nerve arises from the anterior lateral circles whereas the remaining three arises from the posterior lateral circles. First one is the anterior, uh, anterior median fissure which you can in the middle of the medulla oblongata when you see from the ventral aspect and later to it we you get the pyramid and moving more lateral from the pyramid where you get the two large swellings known as the olives and lateral to the olives we can get the inferior cerebral pigmentor so this was all about the ventral aspect of the medulla oblongata